Hi friends, welcome to Dr. Ram's Academy training sessions. So today we are going to see this CPT manual and that too the very first chapter of the surgical section of the CPT manual which is the integumentary system. So I am going to just walk you through the procedures you know what are the subsections that we have gone under this integumentary system so that we are going to deal with. So first thing if you see we have various procedures like this fine needle aspiration. So depending upon this whether there is guidance or not we have various codes and next is like we have like incision and drainage procedures for hematoma or for a seroma or for an abscess or for a postoperative wound infection. And next what we do is like we'll move on to this excision of lesions. So here there is classification like this benign lesion and this malignant lesions. And there are also various procedures like cosmetic procedures for the removal of warts or skin tags. And of course we also have various destruction procedures. Coming to this excision you need to know what type of lesion it is. Is it like a benign one then we have the series like 114 series and if it's going to be malignant we have this 116 series and then you need to understand that we also have codes for this pre-malignant lesions like actinic keratosis where which the code would be from 17,000 onwards depending on the number of lesions the codes differ. Next we have like own debridement codes and these are surgical debridement codes. When the physician is going to debride the wound at the subcutaneous level we have codes and at the muscular level and at this bony level. Then we have codes for debridement of open fractures. Then we'll move on to a certain important topic like this MAR surgery where what happens is like here the same physician is acting as a surgeon as well as a pathologist. Here what happens is procedure is actually done in various stages and the first surgeon will also do a, a staining which is actually bundled into it. So there can also be like extra procedures like frozen section or touch prep or smears which can be reported separately by the pathologist. Here you should understand we are not supposed to build this biopsy code and more surgery code on the same day. So biopsies we have various types like shave biopsy, we have codes for incision biopsy and we have codes for punch biopsies. Next comes this repair, while seeing this repair we have the simple intermediate and this complex repair and we have various guidelines and codes differ based on this anatomical classification as trunk, arms or legs or regions other than trunk, arms or legs. Then we'll move on to this various methods of repair like grafting. We have like adjacent tissue transfer. So in this adjacent tissue transfer we are not supposed to report the excision of these lesions. Next we move on to the special type of repair like grafting techniques where the surgeon is going to harvest an autograft or an allograft. Here this comes within the realms of plastic surgery. So, so far we have been seeing all these procedures which are seen or which can be done by a dermatologist but procedures like grafting especially with autograft or with like epidermal graft or with the myocutaneous flaps these can be done by a plastic surgeon. Then we'll move on to this excision of pressure ulcers. So these ulcers are called as bed sores or decubitus ulcers and the debridement of these ulcers or usually the wound care specialist he is going to excise those ulcers. Here in this case if you see you will have to select the code if the physician is just excising this ulcer and according to the depth he has been excising whether if the physician is going to do a removal of the bone in that case you will have to report the code for an ostectomy along with the site in which the physician is removing the ulcers. And then if he is also going to prepare for this myocutaneous flap we have separate codes for that. Then we'll move on to this barn section where we have separate codes for the debridement or the dressing. Next we have codes for debridement of barns. Here the physician would be like changing the dressings for those barns. So we have this first degree, second degree and third degree barns and we have special codes as well. We have this Lund Brownett's classification of wounds where you'll have to figure out the area that the wound has been or the burns has been involved with. Next we'll move on to the next important subsection which is uh, the breast procedures. Here you should understand the breast procedures are also placed within this integumentary section of the CPT manual. Here we have got various types of procedures like this breast biopsy 
and whether it is open or as a percutaneous technique and what is the type of modalities or the imaging guidance with this provider is using. So we have separate codes for that. And physicians can also place a localization of wires or pellets and we have separate codes accordingly. Then we have these various mastectomy procedures which can be done either for a gynecomastia or for an enlarged breast or when the patient has malignancies like breast cancer. Here you should understand doctors can also perform mammoplasty or augmentation services or a reduction mammoplasty and then reconstructive surgeries in case a patient has had malignancies like breast cancers. So the physicians can also report for the placement of these tissue expanders or the silicone processes. Then after that, patients also would present for the various surgical complications like capsular contracture where the physician would have to perform a capsulotomy or a capsulectomy and sometimes even replacement of this breast implant. So far, we have seen these codes in the CPT manual and these codes invariably begin with the digit one. So all these one series codes are classified under the CPT manual as dermatologic procedures. If we want to report the concomitant ICD-10 CM codes, then the codes of this integumentary system begin with the alphabet L. I hope this session would have enlightened you just a gist about the procedures and the surgeries that are commonly performed in the integumentary section of the CPT manual. So with this, I'm trying to close the session and we'll see you in the next session. Till then, goodbye. You can contact us at 805-60-855-96-99-62-791072